Still playing, still picking up exactly where I was before. Truth and reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implant. Everybody Hit a Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the covenant position without being spotted. I've detected covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for marine support. Oh, that's a heavy crew. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly well, see, take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. That was Are you Mr. Lee? Didn't make it all the way. Close to that. I have not tried the needler yet. Okay, next weapon to try the needler. Nice grenade. They're not so tough. Needles are pink. Cool. They match the later needles. Why? Okay. My biggest gripe with the Needler, why didn't, in later games anyway, why didn't they bring this animation back? It's just so... is that hell? No, that's wildfire. Like, okay. Why don't they bring this dramatic stabbing animation back? It was so satisfying. I've actually had the idea for a while of, um... Stop. Is it Gears of War that has that where you, like... Plant, where you like punch an enemy and plant a grenade in it and then throw it away for the grenade to detonate. Imagine if you could do that with a needler. Imagine if you could like stab somebody with it, leave all the needles, and then just push them away in that I'm super fine. That would be barbaric and so cool at the same time. Over here! Be, it would also be very wasteful, but. Oh, but coolness! Funness. Neither seems about the same. Except, oh, it's carrying more rounds. How many rounds? Can it? Could it? Can it carry 240 needles like it could in the beta, or is it 120? Where are your glasses? Oh, and there's no health oh, cash there. That's gonna make this bit a bit trickier. Okay, that's interesting placement, but good. That's still there. Yeah, okay, it's down to um, 120, so still can carry more, just not as much as it could in 1749. Anything else around here? I'm exploring this a lot more than I usually do just because you never know what could be around the next corner. That's that's so fun in these mods and stuff because and that's something that sadly I don't really get a chance to see anymore because the path up on the left should let us sneak 
stuff around. Every time I play a new Halo game, I have this kind of feeling of, oh wow. We'll hang back while you get into position, Chief. These are cut voice lines. I get the chance of exploring a brand new world that I've never seen before. It's something that I really enjoyed back when I was a kid. to see if they're more deadly. Because the turrets of Halo 1 were pretty pathetic, but they might have changed. With the difficulty, I will say it's really nice, actually. The heroic feels pretty nice to me. Um, it feels as it should, which you don't usually see in fanboys. I guess that's the whole point of a rebalancing But if it didn't feel nice with difficulty, it would be very bad, but... I was, I was bringing that up because I was kind of chuckling, remembering back to the uh, to the beta build. Back in 1749, Mayor had a huge amount of grunts and elites and jackals that spawned in this area. Made your Xbox basically about to explode. I'm going to take the camo, use it to less to kill things like I normally do, and more to recon the area, make sure there's nothing special going on. Let's see. Reinforcements at our position. Two. Okay. So the turrets seem a lot more resistant to this game. I'm wondering with forgetting the sound effects, I'm wondering if the turrets are actually is that a fuel rod run? Yeah, that is a fuel rod run. And it doesn't seem to be exploding. Let me see if I can go pick that up. That'd be very useful. Happy lift. Halo one moment right there. Cortana to Echo 419. Request. 
Honestly, I'm having a second best because I'm wondering if there's going to be more inside the ship than I need to use the wheel rod for, but whatever, I'm going to have fun. Like this. I am wondering if, um, with the... I've heard, and I haven't confirmed it yet, but at least I've heard that they're bringing the... Of, like beta weapons and original stuff back to Mass Chief Collection, like the gravity wrench and the gravity rifle and stuff like that. I'm wondering if any other mods are going to, if this mod or any other mods are going to use that and really. Because I'm, I'm wondering what kind of role that would serve in here, the gravity wrench specifically, but. So, Hunter's being a lot more. <laughs> Given, but oh. oh, one bullet left. Let me count it. No hunter can. Okay, Once now I'm wondering. Ship, I can home in on the captain's command neural interface. They'll probably be in or near the ship's bridge. This is not the weapon for that. Um. <laughs> oh, so they do. Just explode in a shower of red mist. Now I'm taking this assuming there's going to be stealth elites in here, but... I don't know. Um, what last minute counts? Um, oh, I'm just in time. lot more sniper ammo around this level there's no covenant here I think maybe nobody's home or weapons scattered around this room in general <laughs> hey, nice shot. Uh, I think that was meant to be an invisible sword but the effect still oh that's a new animation too I thought I was just seeing things but when I saw that last time, but that is in fact a new one generation. Get down! Oh my god, Hallelujah! That's the way to do it! Yeah, that's meant to be invisible, but at least I'm guessing it's meant to be invisible. Maybe it's just meant to be less invisible. I had a shot! How does it feel to be dead? I guess it would be too All much right. dice to drive the Wraith in this, but I hope you get to drive the Wraith later on. Like a, on Assault on Control Room or something. Like it's been implemented in so many other mods and, and 
especially with it being an actual drivable vehicle in 1749. Okay, the AI on both sides definitely seems to be better. The Marines are far less. The Marines are far less. Just immediately die. How about that, though? Far less immediately die for a moment, but the enemy AI are also better, so they still can't really pin down, but they feel smarter. They feel like you can't just maybe they just increase the range trigger, but it feels better than that. It doesn't feel like they're just standing and getting shot as much as they usually do. Nothing in here. Oh, so I did get that. Wait, that's the locked door down there. Finally, you got my Marines away intended target. The controls to open it must be something. <laughs> Oh, and there's control panels there. Is that just decorative, or is there something that actually activates? No, those are just decorative. Triple kill. Oh, and another fuel prop gun. Yes, please. You know what, at this point, I might as well drop that. As useful as it'll become Shadow Bay time, I don't really... I, my whole point of this playthrough is to mix it up a little bit, so I'm not going to take like, a sniper rifle like I do 99% of the time. Okay, good thing that grenade glitched. Oh, that's why, because it sounds like a hunter. <laughs> I, like, did it, I like stopped in my tracks because I thought there was a hunter somewhere. No, oh, it's just a dual rod gun. Marines in. Usually I don't even bother, but these Marines are actually durable now. This makes me that makes me chuckle so much. The fact that they used the hunter running sound effect of the fuel rod gun that had to have been intentional. Come on, so I can school you again. All clear, sir. We should get moving. All right, everybody, stay cool. Yell if you see anything, anything here. No. And these doors are open. Okay, so, so far, none of these levels have had a strong showing of color bottom, but they've all been good. And this one is better than level 2, definitely, but they've all been pretty good. Does 
anyone I'm see I'm looking forward to seeing what's <laughs> what they do with more iconic levels like the silent photographer. My favorite level in Halo 1 is actually the bomb. Um, with the silent photographer being a very close second. <laughs> Anything in here? Oh, there's an active camo in here. Let's see. He's just throwing a grenade in the wall. There's so much wildlife in this really makes the ring feel well, alive. It makes it much more like what you see in the early 2001 presentations you see with the blind wolves and the thorn beasts and the birds that fly around. Friends. And because back in the day, there used to be it used to be wanting to be like an open world. <laughs> Like a day night cycle and everything like that. Of course, all of this was cut, but seeing it brought back into the sea is actually really cool. Wait a moment. I'm going to access the Covenant cool. Battlenet and locate an override in this form. and open a door. Working on it. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Try to actually save our wings this time. Shotgun shells. Makes me wonder if there's actually a shotgun here, or if that's again just added to tease you. And... Well, where did that? Okay. Hearing that sparking of a grenade from the rain really. Oh, 
The lighting made it look like a stealth or something. Marine, fire. Marine, you're shooting me in the back. <laughs> Whoa, hello! Oh god, energy sword. Standing in the... I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if that was an intended one, because that was actually really smart. Standing in the, That'll teach standing in the panel where the light Damn. flickers and naturally would blend in naturally very well. That's interesting. Why are there something that's always confusing? Why are there? Elite corpses and stuff inside the Truth of Reconciliation. It's not, like, it's not like we had humans. Even, it, even within the original CE, it wouldn't make sense because they had the. They won't mess with us again. Downrange. Even in the original CE, it didn't really make a lot of sense that they had the um, marine corpses inside the ship just randomly there, like they tried to. Stage an attack and failed. It, it just. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about this too hard. Oh, that is a. No, again, that's just the light of the game. I, I, I remember seeing the old ones once. This is the type of mod that you really appreciate if you uh, if you play Halo CE a lot. I feel like you would appreci still appreciate it, but less if you're like more casually play CE. But for someone who really knows the game inside the game, which I'm not again not claiming to know everything about this game, but for someone who's played it for a long time like me, noticing all the little subtle changes and things. It's, that almost killed me. Um, it makes you appreciate this mod a lot more, I feel, than someone who is less well versed in CE. It's still a fun mod, though. Whoa. At least so far, I can highly recommend it. Of course, it could take a nosedive after this, you never know, but looking on the bright side, I will say that this is so far totally a recommending recommendation from me. Killing ourselves and after killing all of our teammates, but it's 
except for the one one, which I'm pretty sure is invincible. Let me. I don't see anything. Stop! Yeah! Yeah, that guy is invincible. Cut it out. Probably because he has a shotgun. They don't want you to get the shotgun this early, but. Still nice to have a, an invincible ally with actually s somewhat smart AI. I say somewhat smart as they're shooting me in the back all the time, but. This extra blood uh, decal is really. They, they add a, a slight touch to that. It's like a last scan. It makes you, it makes it sells the story of it being like this last scan. And the fact that these guys are actually like preparing for an invasion is really again it sells the story. Like they in regular city, you basically just walk in and they're just everyone's just napping. And there's no. Other, it's like they don't even know you're there somehow. Oh, he is dead. Presented another player. Yeah, that was the OEST, I think. But I still can't think of a shot. But in, in regular CE, it's like you just walk up, just meander into the control room without them having any idea. But here, it makes it feel a lot more realistic that they're prepared for you coming in and they're actually standing their ground inside the control center. Yeah, he's still alive there. Just a lot smarter than to just charge at me. This is what I mean with the AI. They're not just standing around and letting themselves get shot. Wow, those these zealots are strong. Actually, really like the way this needler looks with the, the pink needles. Like the pink needles on. I know that this is the skin that I have for it, but the pink needles on a white background really sells the aesthetic. I really like the way that looks, especially in light like this. We must be in the brig. These look like holding cells. There are probably multiple detention stations. The captain must be in one of them. No, so you can't just one. cheese the. Oh, but it, there is one in here. Okay. <laughs> Grunt's just sleeping inside the prison cells. So why would there be grunts and an elite inside the holding cells? That's odd. Like, the grunts, I can kind of understand being disobedient grunts, but the grunts and jackals just inside the, formerly the prison cells, that... It 
Something I just noticed now, the fact that the flashlight doesn't, um, there's no I knew you were down here somewhere. Um, the fact that the flashlight still works when you're in active camo, and the original game didn't do that. I guess it's a minor thing, but it's, it makes it more useful. We let everyone out and start the cutscene. Okay, so there is a dead marine there, I'll note that. He's someday one of these mods should like put if he's trying to the very bottom of one of those shafts that nobody looks down. Like on assault the control room, they have those really deep shafts that no one looks down. They should have like an Easter egg at the bottom of that. Wow, he's taller than I thought. Uh, coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. Since I'm going against stealth leads, I probably shouldn't be going to have my opposed force you need right now. Covering fire! I'll find the bastard. We showed him! What's in here? Just for Why would you put someone in a holding cell with grenades? <laughs> Sounds like a really bad idea. seems even more aggressive than he is with that needle. That's making me un it's unsettling. get a good look at this room last time I was here. I am glad that this looks a lot more like a control room than all of these actually. Cortana to Echo 419. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative Cortana, I've been in these panels actually do anything. And I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Sorry. Acknowledged, Foehammer. Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. Oh man, we're trapped in here! We're screwed! We're screwed, man! Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. Cortana, if you and the Chief can get us into one of those Covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a Covenant dropship captain, still you're gone. on top of it, so you're gonna... Everyone's on the fire. Firing! Either, either the enemies are not really targeting keys, or maybe keys is more durable. Either way, I am not complaining, because he usually dies a lot in this section when you're on higher difficulties. To be fair, he is wearing basically just his his captain's uniform. Sorry. Ow, man. Level 
three, done. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. So let's see if it, he has the special voice line. I hope he does, but I doubt it. Give me a minute to interface with the ship's controls. Uh, no need. I'll take yeah. this bird out myself. Thoughts on level three? Not, not as strong as level one, but stronger than level two. I really enjoyed it. Hang on. Time for a little payback. Leaving that off here. See you in the next one, unless you really hate my commentary.